Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to today's episode of Mabu College. I'm your instructor, Mabu Nakagawa. Let's jump into today's topic. Today, we're gonna be discovering NFT and metaverse. I have already presented a brief summary of uh, cryptocurrency in the last video. If you haven't watched it yet, uh, please uh, do so uh, before you continue. That will be more easier to understand the uh, content of NFT and the metaverse if you are interested in crypto asset, of course. NFT literally uh, stands for non-fungible token, which is digital art based on the blockchain technology. The metaverse is a persistent digital universe that uh, you'll be able to do everything in a real world and in a virtual world. In a real world, uh, you can walk into the gallery or exhibition and buy one of a kind of artwork with uh, with autograph and authenticate as, as original. Take it home, uh, put it on a wall and enjoy it. Uh, you can show your friends off or it might be even be uh, used for an investment. Now. We can have uh, exactly the same thing uh, in a virtual gallery with digital art. Well, this might might always seem like uh, uh, you know obscure niche on the internet, but NFT is closely related to metaverse. If you look at the recent uh, auction sale that uh, you might have uh, heard of, uh, you'll probably better understand uh, what NFT is more like. A couple of years ago, a pure digital uh, art, uh, art artwork by an uh, artist named. Beepo was uh, sold for 69 million US dollar in cryptocurrency. The auction, the artwork, and the currency was virtual, but uh, the, the transaction was real. Anything can be NFTs, like I said, you know, the piece of uh, art, sport, uh, memorial beer, and uh, you know, even someone's tweet. Uh, it's super. It's, it sounds super uh, amazing. Yet, uh, it's all Greek to me to be to te to uh, test with you. We imagine a future where anyone and all digital uh, artists are able to uh, build an innovative works based on the technology of uh, NFT that allowed it uh, for a digital file to be sold as a unique artcraft for 69 million US dollars, for example. Here is how digital assets are changing the landscape for artists and content creators looking to uh, cash in on their creation. So let's say under a better uh, internet environment, uh, you can just uh, find out an amazing artwork designed by a famous artist and creator. You utilize snipping tool, copy and paste for your business purpose, but artists are not receiving royalties. That's unfair. So this automated tool named NFT was allowed it for the guaranteed proof of origination and the worship of music, video, images, and even text. For those who don't uh, care about the art, NFT, NFT might be uh, nothing but uh, a piece of crap, but for the future of uh, digital art, it's absolutely bright. It's also allowing anyone uh, to uh, to own their own data studying art and it is expected to uh, measure in number about how value is created online. I'm intrigued by how digital labor is uh, monetized. Yeah, because uh, I call myself YouTube uh, creator. I think NFT is somewhat similar to a way that uh, you can do social uh, tipping on YouTube as a token of appreciation, for example. And the value uh, of the appreciation a appreciation is subject to the change of course it can be one dollar a ten dollar or even a hundred dollar or more than that whatever digital art you create uh, you can pre preserve ownership right in a uh, metaverse most of uh, the things are uh, in the real world are non-fungible i'm not talking about exchangeable but fungible because most physical objects are unique and can't be traded one by one nothing is pretty much equivalent to another Money is only a few a few items that, that are fungible, uh, meaning that uh, one dollar is equivalent to another another dollar, right? Yeah, same as Bitcoin. As I mentioned in the last video, uh, blockchain technology uh, prevents digital money from being duplicated or hacked, and uh, and uh, centralized authority like a bank uh, are no longer needed in the virtual world to uh, validate transactions. Think about this like a Bitcoin. The record of ownership of NFT are stored in the public databases on the internet that uh, keep track via consensus of all context, co contents and transactions. A recent study about decentralized uh, technology illustrates the b new business model and the financial power to the artists as well as creators. That means they expand their works to the online audience and add a new uh, revenue stream to make more money. 
NFT is too new to understand and then predictions are still too unclear for anyone to make, but it is a sign that powerful influencers like Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg are investing in so heavily. So, in terms of digital animation, fashion, entertainment field for artists and their fans, NFT is gonna be a new frontier where they can sell directly to their buyers without an intermediary and they can receive royalty on all future sales. The virtual platform is called Metaverse. Yeah, Facebook changed its brand name to Meta because Mark Zuckerberg named after Metaverse and uh, you know he anticipated uh, Metaverse would be a future version of the internet. For another example, uh, last year, uh, Jack Dorsey's first tweet was sold at an auction for 2.9 million US dollars. Are you kidding? Am I only the one uh, who still don't understand the value of NFTs? Later on, <laughs> NFT uh, went on sales and ended with a top bit, bit just a uh, top bit of just uh, 280 US dollar. No one bit uh, more than 280 dollar, and even the current bits on OpenSea only amounted to a 99% drop in value. What just happened? Yeah, here's my perspective, by the way. Yeah, I want to point out one thing here. Not, not all NFTs are priceless. You know, it can be millions of dollar digital asset or uh, completely junk. If no one wants to buy a Jack Dorsey's first tweet, yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the NFT is not worth. Yeah, most of the NFTs are like that. Yeah, celebrity, celebrities have been putting a lot of money uh, into NFTs since its initial boom in the early 2021, but uh, with the decline in price in both Ethereum and, and, the, and the overall NFT market, people stay, stayed away from there because the market was always moving up and down. Bitcoin, Ethereum, NFTs are only a few examples of uh, you know, the new types of uh, assets that uh, can potentially be risked to own over the long period of time. So how come other rich, rich people, by the way, uh, stick to crypto assets? They were craving for reality, right? There are unique pieces of art made by a well-known artist, such as Bipo, who sold his work for six million US dollar, was, you know, the excellent example of the reality. I'll talk, uh, talk about this uh, later, okay? So, NFT is always unstable in price, volatile, and it generates no revenues. Unlike stock, bond, and real estate where owners get dividends, interest, and rent, NFT doesn't give them any benefit. That's why NFT was considered as a potential risk factor to invest in. Also, uh, NFT had a potential uh, perpetuate uh, fraud. Indeed, a number of artists have reported their works when for sale on uh, on, on online marketplace without their permission. For them, uh, I think uh, they don't really feel good when they imagine their digital art is uh, bought, sold, and traded by the third party illegally. That's why uh, people do not buy and collect asset class that is linked to a piece of antiques, art, shoes, stamps, and even junk that you think uh, you wanna dispose. So, NFT is a quite niche market in terms of art, movie, uh, music, image and other digital property. You can buy it in a marketplace called OpenSea, as I told you in a minute ago. Uh, you can purchase Ethereum from crypto uh, cryptocurrency exchange such as uh, Line, uh, BMAX Wallet, uh, Mercury or GMO if you are in Japan. Yeah, open source is the largest Web 3.0 marketplace for NFT. Just like a stock market where uh, you can buy and sell your uh, virtual property. Basically, any, uh, any digital unique thing can be uh, bought, sold, or trade online. OpenSea's got, uh, got them all. They got them all, yeah. So whatever you are looking for, you can find it there. Open source is also uh, great for creators too. You can create an uh, NFT for the for, for free free without having to worry about the blockchain or uh, anything that confusing tech stuff. In Japan, Line, Mercury, and GMO are already launching NFT marketplace in the first place, but OpenSea is still the best. The unique feature uh, about NFT marketplace is that you have to buy and sell in Ethereum, not in cash. You gotta have an Ethereum wallet to buy, uh, buy and sell NFT on OpenSea. 
OpenSea supports uh, many other uh, many other wallets, including uh, MetaMask, Coinbase, and Trust Wallet. Ethereum is a decentralized open source to bro open source blockchain with smart contract. Do you remember Ethereum is a feature that uh, uh, many many other kinds of app application are designed to be built on the Ethereum Ethereum platform? OpenSea uh, is uh, compatible uh, with uh, Ethereum, uh, while Bitcoin is not. Functionality is limited. So, in, in terms of uh, multifunctionality, uh, Ethereum is superior on board. Let me just uh, give you a simple example. Uh, where, so, if, if you don't still get me, uh, just, uh, just uh, look at the Pachinko slot. Yeah, you go to the Pachinko store and uh, get uh, some small pinball in exchange for cash then pick up a, a mixture of slot machine that uh, you prefer and then start playing pachinko if you win you get benefit or you can even cash out the similar similar mechanism here well there must be a contradictions and regulation to be uh, cracked down by the financial service agency that's called fsa but uh, it's something like that so when you utilize uh, Ethereum on uh, Ethereum on OpenSea, I want to give you a few uh, few more virtual property that you can get. One of the uh, famous NFT uh, you can look for is CryptoPunks. The CryptoPunks are NFT collection with a hand uh, with. 10,000 unique 24 by 24 pixel art images. Most are punky looking guys and girls. They are AI generated art like collective characters based on Ethereum blockchain. So let us just hash it out. They are created by an algorithm and stored in a smart contract and all of these are out there on the market right now. One CryptoPunks were worth uh, more than 24 million US dollars in exchange rate as of February 2022 last year. No way, that's bogus. Well, what is uh, backing up this ridiculous price of uh, CryptoPunks? I know it started some controversies that uh, people thought, oh, what a waste. Why would, why would they want to trade these things and something like that? I was on the same page in the first place, but you know what? I think it's cool. I think that it is quite unique to do uh, on a blockchain and a unique way to uh, utilize a smart contract. So I'm all for it. Well, I'm not suggesting you to invest in or even do anything with it. I just wanted to share my opinion about why some people are so into CryptoPunks and why people are willing to pay for it. Over time, uh, CryptoPunks have come to be seen as in, uh, investment as well as a status symbol. People in uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the NFT community uh, tend to crave for a CryptoPunks owner. They are looking at themselves like uh, people are forcing uh, for foresee where NFT are going, and uh, they are waiting ahead of the curve. And uh, as a result, in the future, they are given the presumption of trust and status. That kind of social status, identity as a king of NFTs, all matters. All matters to them. Also, from the perspective uh, of artists and other creators, royalty payment is so attractive. When creators sold uh, something uh, valuable to their to their buyers, and the buyers resold it, creator didn't get anything anything before. Uh, they were not receiving ongoing fundings. Uh, th th this is gonna be hamper the growth and the adoption of uh, NFT community. So uh, there were many other marketplaces for NFT even in Japan, but they are not easily compatible uh, with another because smart contract can be varied by ecosystem and it is not standardized yet. So enabling all NFT marketplaces uh, to uh, to unify on a single royalty payment standard will benefit the entire ecosystem. Once uh, the ecosystem is improved, the buyer believes that uh, they can make more money. The brief scenario of what they are planning is not always good. However, with blockchain technology, uh, NFT is going to be a new platform for artists and creators to monetize at this moment, of course. And for uh, consumers like me, uh, it's going to be a much better than better better than the uh, like uh, uh, five or six years ago. Yeah, you might have unlikely heard of a gas fee. I think I told you a slightly in the first half, but yeah, uh, I, the gas fee is just like a transaction fee to uh, in uh, Ethereum blockchain network. 
During the peak of an、uh, NFT boom、uh, in the late 2021 and early 2022, some people have reported、uh, hundreds of dollars in gas fees, which exceeded the actual price to the、uh, Price of uh, uh, NFT itself. So, Ethereum developers、uh, escalated the priority to a lower traffic in transaction request by switching from、uh, proof of、uh, work to proof, proof of stake so that、uh, it can faster uh, transaction uh, computing time. Blockchain is a massive decentralized transaction s l e a d e r that costs tons of money to maintain without a third party intermediary like bank or government. To perform transactions on a blockchain, you need a wallet. With a wallet, you have access and keep track of cryptocurrency that you own, and you can、uh, authorize or sign t r a n s a c t i o n And finally, you can transfer the value、uh, to a new owner. That's a fundamental of NFT a blockchain mechanism.、Uh, I hope you understood、uh, how NFT works. In the second half,、uh, we'll break down the metaverse、uh, into how it will change the world, why it matters, and what we're going to have to do in the future. That's pretty much all,、uh, all we have today.、Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please, please stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can come back as soon as I upload the second half on YouTube, okay? I see you in a minute. Let's take five. <laughs>